All right, Adventure vs. Mission Editor, back to the adventure story campaign that I made. And we're going to have a look at some map settings here um, for challenges. So this is using the Dungeon Architect system. Um, a wonderful plugin we've got um, for Unity. And if we select a challenge here, you'll see that there's a lot to this object. You know, we were looking at the campaign settings before. Fortunately, each of these sections is collapsible, so we can collapse them up and we want to look at the map settings today. So I want to pull back a little bit and have a look where we are. So here we've got the multi-story dungeon theme, which is making everything look kind of, um, you know, old worldy stone. Uh, we've got the demo grid flow layout for that. Um, city size is actually relevant to this one, and terrain, we've got the multi-story terrain there. So let's see, as I showed in the previous video, we've got a number of different themes. We can make this Victorian theme instead, for example. And it's now looking like a Victorian mansion. The grass is a little bit high, so we can pull that down. This is the one I used for reflections. And yeah, there you've got kind of, you know, a world of wood panelled oak and so on. Um, should be some Victorian objects in there as well, bookcases and so on, um, around the place. Now you'll notice there's this random seed here. This is basically a number just used to generate the level at random. We can randomize that, so you can basically take a nice high camera view here like this, and just go, nah, oh yeah, mm. nah and keep on retrying until you get one that you like and think, oh yeah, this looks cool. You may find you have to move the challenge, um, you know, challenge start points when you do that. Um, we've also got the layout. So we've got the demo grid flow is basically a big, large, um, sprawling one. Demo grid flow small will give you a smaller but non-linear map like that. And if we look at a few variants of that. By the way, we've got a back button for these random numbers, if you want to go back to the previous one ever. We have linear long, where you know you start and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six or so rooms, and linear short, which is good just for little maps, which is about four rooms in size. Where did they go? There they are. And of course these work with any theme. Whatever theme you select, if it's like the sci-fi theme, um, graveyard theme, and so on, it's the same shape but with different objects in it. Um, so yeah, that's um, the way to sort of you know build your level really. We do have a special theme in here, the Desert City, which produces a kind of city map. It's a sort of you know, castle-y, could be medieval, could be a bit sort of post-apocalyptic, uh, with, you know, market stalls and stuff around and this desert dust blowing everywhere. That's maybe more suited to the desert terrain. Yep, that works. And if you choose that one, changing the other things, the layout and the feet, um, the layout isn't going to matter, but you can change the city size. So you can make a much bigger city, And there we go. Or a little small city. If I pull this right down to, you know, one of the smaller settings. Oops, have a look down there. Yep, so that's sort of about as small as these cities will get. Um, I think I can go down one more notch. Yep. And, you know, that, that could be good for a little short level or a hub world or something like that um, for the player to interact with. Um, we've got a skybox as well. Yep, you know, most of the time because of the camera view, you won't be seeing the skybox um, around, but it's important for cutscenes and also just for the general feel while you're editing. So we've got a whole bunch of things in here. Planetary red sun. Whoa. Um, <laughs> hazy sun. Um, these will affect the lighting. Sunless flocus. Um, unearthly green, 
that's nice. Um, unearthly Luna. Ooh, hello. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, so there are different skyboxes you can choose there. And the terrain Y user just to adjust the height of the terrain. Um, yeah. So there are the various options, and then when you save that, that will get saved with the challenge. And when you load the mission up again, then you'll be back in this level. Um, yeah. So that's how to um, how to edit the map. Uh, seems to be knee deep in the terrain here. <laughs> okay.